I'm Charles Leprinzi, a medical oncologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy is quite common. Uh, uh, with the different uh, chemotherapy agents we utilize, it's been said it affects up to 30 to 40 percent of patients. It depends a lot on which particular chemotherapy agent you're talking about, though. Some agents will cause it in up to 70 to 90 percent of patients. The agents that cause, that are known to commonly cause chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy are the taxane agents, uh, paclitaxel, docetaxel, uh, nab, uh, nab paclitaxel, uh, the vinca alkaloids, the vincristine more than, than uh, vinblastine, uh, the epothalones, uh, uh, ipsobepalone being the one drug that we have available for that now, the platinum agents, cisplatinum and oxyplatin being much more common than carboplatinum, uh, and then some of the drugs that we utilized for treating myeloma, such as thalidomide or bortezomib. So let me say a little bit more about the different uh, chemotherapy neuropathy uh, types. A lot of the, what we're talking about is chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. We're talking about numbness, tingling, shooting, burning pain, usually in a stocking glove uh, distribution uh, that, these, that these drugs cause. Uh, numbness and tingling may be more of a problem than is shooting, burning pain, or more common of a problem, although shooting, burning pain can be quite problematic.